Guys, today is Sunday, Sunday morning. It's 10.41 a.m. And I just thought I'd check in. I haven't put out a produced piece. Uh, yeah, I know. I know it's been a while. Uh, but I do actually have my React portfolio coming uh, right along. I've just, you know, things come up and you got to take care of them. And, well, that's what's going on. As you can see, here are the videos. I made them come out, uh, or I made them... Uh, I worked with the YouTube API and I was able to bring them uh, out here, but I need to do some styling, of course, with these. And I've done a bunch of pages, so I've done a lot of styling with uh, with React JS for my portfolio project. So you can see there's a bunch of pages here that have been uh, worked worked out, and I'll show you more of that in the video later today because I finally have it all set up. I don't have routes set up, just the components themselves, and uh, from there, what I'll have to do is I'll have to make um, pass down props so I can pass down different things to uh, different components. So they'll have the same, like, they'll be the same component, but I'm going to put in different things by passing down props. I think that makes sense. Anyway, uh, that's what I've been up to as far as the React.js portfolio goes. And hey, what's going on? Ramsey is first. What's up, David? Uh, Joseph, uh, uh, when are you going to host... How are you going to host your portfolio? It's going to be on, um, what is it called? What is it called? Am I actually like, I don't think I actually even showed this here. I, I forgot to switch over the old uh, screen. I have to do that again. Sorry, guys. Let's go ahead and switch here. So <laughs> let me show you my React app first. Okay, so here's the React app. You can see here's the videos here. And uh, you can you can see that, um, you know, th things have been going along quite well. I, I have my my projects, uh, my pages, quote unquote pages, uh, that, that shows everything here. So, so it's coming along. It's not that I'm uh, lying here to you guys, but, um, yeah, I do have to do some more styling. I took a long time on styling, but not that long. Uh, it's just that it's, it's been a while. So, uh, when am I going to, how am I going to host my portfolio is a great question. It's done on, uh, Heroku. So I, I'm using Heroku cause I know how. Uh, I'd have to log in to show you, but I've put it up there uh, using uh, Heroku, like Git log and stuff. So that's that's how I am going to do it myself. What are you guys up to? Hey, thanks, Sh Shadi. Uh, I appreciate it. It needs some more work. Uh, I guess I could show you guys a little bit more here. Uh, I haven't put a switch statement in, so I'll have to get like a 404 or 40, yeah, 404 error page uh, in the main app section. Let's see here. Like if I comment this out can't remember how to do it um, I, the shortcut key doesn't work for me so bear with me here as we go ahead and do this here so if we take a look at something like the projects page because I uncommented it out where I've worked and again these need styled or these pi these pictures need to be changed a little bit and uh, I don't have a CTA here so I could put a CTA at the bottom of that if I go into the pages here uh, projects yeah I have one Hmm. Is that what I just uncommented? Let's take a look. Oh. Oh, no. Let's take a look here. You see, uh, but you can tell that <laughs> um, it's not perfect yet, but it's coming along just, just swell here. So, uh, yeah, well, let me know what questions you guys have. Uh, that's why, why we're here, of course, is to take questions and to get this up and running. Oh, I see why I call it CTA. It's it's not called contact CTA. It's actually called call to action. So let's go ahead and go back here to let's see where was it? Contact CTA. Uh, let's see here. Contact CTA. Boom. Call to action. Let's see if we get it back. Oh no, it's a, it's down there, but it's not what I wanted. This is why I don't do this live. I, I don't like to. <laughs> uh, you'll find out I'm a fraud. Let's see. There we go. There's that. There's that uh, old, the old contact thing. And I'm just doing the basic stylings now, making sure it looks right on all, uh, all widths and stuff. And then I'll go in and add like animations and stuff and hover effects. I've added them to some of them. Hey, Sultan Tech, how's it going? Your major breakpoints. The main one is 600. Uh, good, good question there, Shadi. Let's see, app CSS. Let's just go in here. I actually labeled it. Um, let's let's go down here and see. 
500. I think it was at six. Mobile break. Let's see. Come on, give me mobile break. Where's mobile break coming from? Fonts, buttons, colors, spacers. I don't know where I put this thing here. Rows. Okay, mobile break is 600 pixels. Yeah. So, so that's what I have going on right now um, with that. The how's the stream? It looks like it says it's doing all right. Uh, it's in the orange. I don't know what that means. I think that just means it's doing okay. <laughs> uh, maybe I should try to uh, set that up. Uh, stream check resolution. Please check that the video resolution. The current resolution is 1440 by 10 8 10, which is not optimal. It says. Hmm. Maybe that's as high as I can go. Uh, Tolan Tech says, which one do you prefer, computer science or software engineering? I mean, let me put it this way, man. Uh, which is the best degree to get? All I know about is uh, computer science. Computer science is what's been around for a long time. And if you're going to go the that route, uh, that's what they're going to look for, those those people that you're, you're thinking about there. So that's what I would go for anyway, if I were you, is uh, computer science. But that's not to say that's what I went for. But I wouldn't recommend you get what I got. Like, yeah, get an econ degree. That's that's gonna be great. That'll be just that'll be just great for your uh, for your career. No, don't do that. I'm gonna share this uh, with the Facebook group here that I have. Self taught programmers. See what we get. Come hang out with our web developer Q and A. Appreciate your patience, guys. I'll, I'll get to your uh, questions here in a minute. Uh, it just takes a minute to share this. Let's see if I can remember how to even share this. Oh, you know, I think I know how. I think I know how. <laughs> uh, the, you know, the, the extreme confidence I have here is just great. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Sorry about that. Camera's here. Joseph Whittington says, in one of your other live videos, you said you, you're you better at Node than you are at React. Do you have any experience doing microservices with Node.js? I do not. Uh, now, what I've actually done is, like, I'm getting better at React, uh, but not really. It's, it's By not really, here, here's what I mean. I've spent a lot of time, all my free time, of course, doing this portfolio project, but any other free time is done on uh, algorithms, data structures, and e in ES6. Uh, so learning things like recursion, uh, block scope, uh, scoping in general, the prototype chain, things I already knew, but really just like, uh, doubling down on, um, destructuring, all those things, you know, uh, fat arrow functions and how, how they work, uh, recursion, uh, iterate, and then iterative solutions and then making them recursive, uh, looking at all that stuff and, and doing it over and over and over again, uh, learning array methods as well, slice, put, map filter reduce those things hey jenna how's it going thanks for thanks for stopping by uh always love it when you come by uh, jenna has her own channel as well so i would highly recommend you check it out let's go ahead and uh share this why don't we <laughs> um it's been taking me a while here because i want to answer these questions as well so you know it can be it can be kind of hard ramsey jordan says hey 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 girl, <laughs> I might be getting a little bit too, uh, I might be getting a little bit too comfortable in these live streams. Let's see, where is the share button? Hey, and if you guys like this content, of course, like and share. Uh, it helps me out a bunch. I can't even figure out how to share this myself. Woe is me. Um, looks like we got a question there. Let's see what we got here. Shadi says, I hosted my portfolio on DigitalOcean. Yes, I talked about that. And to be honest, the process was a pain in the whoopsie, but it was fun. Yeah, of, yeah, I, I feel your pain there, man. But when it's up there, it's like, yes, I'm the best. Uh, I highly recommend going and setting up your own server. You will learn a lot from Linux and security. How's everyone doing? Uh, Jenna asks. Yeah, how is everyone doing? If I could only find, if I could only find, oh, there we go. Okay, let's, let's do this. Boom. Share this on the old 
the old Facebook. Oh, uh oh, I gotta change the uh, change the title here. We're not doing Fizzbuzz today. That ain't true unless you guys want to do it again. But uh, it's it's done on my last live stream. Let's see here. What do we got here? Just Ramsey says amazing. I just started learning React. It's like I like it so far. It is very, very uh, nice once you start to know what you do. I see you're using Webpack. Do you have any resources for learning how to use Webpack in production? Um, use Create React App. <laughs> no, but if you want to learn Webpack, which I did, uh, Stephen Greider has a course on Udemy, uh, but I highly recommend you check it out. But don't like focus on making it optimal. Every place that you go to is going to have a different, uh, different type of like uh, compiler or uh, not compiler. What am I trying to see? Build tool. Like some people still use Grunt, Gulp, those things. So uh, yeah, definitely, definitely check that out or check that out. What am I trying to say? Definitely check it out, but don't focus on it uh, exclusively. Well, it still has the old title here, so. We'll see what that does. I'll go ahead and post this up to my Facebook. -y. Come hang out and ask a developer questions. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see. Shadi says, one day I decided I should learn Webpack, but it's just about writing the right config file, and you are done to focus so much more on exactly right. It's more, it's not like necessarily like you're going to learn, uh, it's going to open up a ton of doors, you know, but, uh, uh, or you're going to have like this epiphany and it's going to translate to everything else. That's, that's the thing with some of these tools. You got to be careful. So like learning a templating language, maybe learn some, but don't try to focus exclusively on a templating language if you ever had to do that. So something like, uh, what I use is, what do I use? Uh, handlebars a lot. Um, but mostly Hubble code, which is HubSpot's proprietary uh, templating language code. Well, once you start doing those, you'll get better at it. What is the name of Steven Greider's course? Jenna asks, well, I will go ahead and bring it up. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? Okay, <laughs> maybe that's not how you're supposed to say it, but uh, yeah. Give me just a moment here. Steven. Let's see, Steven Greider, Webpack 2, The Complete Developer's Guide. This might be obsolete, I don't know for sure, because um, I just use Create React App now when I can. But sometimes you do have to use Webpack uh, to configure things, like um, with CSS uh, or SAS with this project. I had to configure a few things in Webpack, and it's just nice to know what's going on. So uh, Joseph says, what is the name of Steven Greider's course? Oh, I think I just answered that. Uh, da, 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 da. it's the webpack to the complete guide. The, let's go ahead and look into it. That's why uh, we have some time to check it out. There's, you know, he's always updating these things. Uh, course content. What does webpack do? Handling projects, assets, blah 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 blah. So there's a lot here. Uh, Ramsey says Ricky is just Ricky is just getting too comfortable. Too comfortable. I'll tell you what, brah. It's because I'm at home. I can act myself. I don't have to be like, well, excuse me, sir, da da da. Um, but yeah, that's that's what's going on with Webpack. <laughs> Let me know if that answers your question there. Uh, Ramsey, what's going on with you, man? Um, I don't know if, here, I'll, I'll bring this back up just for those of you who just came in. I've been working on my portfolio. This needs to refresh. This morning I, I connected a few things. You can see I have some pages here and they have components, but they need. Uh, props to be passed down so we can switch the images and like even like CSS like properties or classes so we can swap like what images are there by using Flexbox and stuff. Uh, Shadi says, yeah, I remember the Starbucks lives. He's, he is, no, he is more chill. Lol. So chill, bruh. <laughs> no, I'm, I, I've gotten a little bit more used to being myself, but at the same time, it's like, I'm not in front of a bunch of uh, random people where I have to be like, you know, I got to hold it all in. Joseph says, I also did the coding interview boot camp. Just getting into it. How do you feel about it? I freaking love it. But I will say this, um, guys. I don't use it for like so much interview is like basic foundation 
foundational stuff. But I had to learn it over and over, write it down over and over and over and over and over again. Uh, but with with the uh, that said, if you are kind of like newer to JavaScript, I would say, uh, where is it? I'll go, yeah, I would say do this guy's course. But he has a new course too using ES6. This is learning algorithms from JavaScript in JavaScript from scratch, you mostly use like that basic ES5 stuff, which is what you need to build upon anyway. This is done by, what, what's this guy's name? Eric Traub. So check it out. It's dope. Um, it'll help you get started, especially if you're you're a noob. Um, Pluralsight has some stuff there too, but I think it's more like generic, so I wouldn't go there. Uh, I'm, I'll just log in here and show you some cool stuff that will help you uh, along your way. Um, also, the, you don't know JS is a good one to to try. Oh, I can't even log in. I don't remember my password. We gotta find a better way to hold like <laughs> secure data rather than uh, just passwords. Let's see here. Um, JavaScript, I was just telling Dylan on his live stream, this is amazing, this class, the good parts of JavaScript and the web. It's done by Douglas Crawford, who did JavaScript, the good parts. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome. Uh, Shadi says, any idea of web apps I can do to implement advanced stuff like algorithms? Uh, algorithms are just like instructions, man. Like to, uh, oh my gosh, I keep on forgetting to switch the screen over here. This is the course I'm talking about. JavaScript, the good parts. If you can't see what I'm talking about, let me know. Uh, here's Webpack. Uh, here's learning algorithms with, uh, uh, what's his name? Learning algorithms with Scott Dobb, Eric Traub. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry about that, guys. So my apologies. Um, Shadi says, any web packs? Well, you know, this one that I did kind of used some advanced stuff. L let me pull it up. I wouldn't say it's like super advanced, but let me pull up, not this window. Let me pull up Visual Studio. What the heck? Just do as I say. Okay. So this is a CSS file, SCSS, that's not what we want. Let's go to this YouTube link over here. I'll try to make this a little bit bigger. And I'll take my face off the screen, even though it's so, so handsome. Okay, I'm not that conceited. All right, there we go. There we go. Okay, so, so here we have something that's a little more advanced. Here's my API key. That's great. You guys can see that. I'll put some restrictions on there or change it out just great um, but you can see I use some temp template literals here and uh, I put that in there not too big of a deal right you can do some search here uh, here's your state that you can do set component now you're thinking like well what is this why, why are you showing me this I use the map function here which takes an element here and then you can return an array with uh, different things here that's a pretty advanced thing right there now I use it again down here map.link so if you're wondering how I found this, like, how did you just come up with that on your own? No, I actually found it from a YouTube video by some some dude that uh, had a really a really good uh, video on it. Let me pull him up right now. And th the thing is, is like, I couldn't just do what he had. Like, you have to know your stuff. Like, you have to know how to adapt it and stuff. And I'm not using everything he used. This guy right here, React.js, making a YouTube video. Let me make sure I'm still on screen or no it's still on screen yeah so check that out uh, using the fetching app but I used uh, Axios just because um, of compatibility so so there you go there's something like if you want to use APIs you, you have to fetch fetch data use a for loop or something like that but uh, oh no I spilled here one moment um, I will be right back let me go ahead and give you some hold music or something here da, 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 da. Let's see, music. I'll get to your questions too soon. Sure, why not? <laughs> Give me just a second. Man, that was some whack music. <laughs> so, they're just my royalty-free music that I have here. So let, let's go ahead and pull this up. 
see what see what questions we got here. Oh, I got a lot actually. I also did the coding interview. Joseph says coding boot camp. I'm just getting into it. How do you feel about it? How do I feel about coding boot camp? Like, can you tell me the specific one by chance? If you can tell me that, then I can give you a a better. What am I trying to say here? I can give you my full opinion. I feel like coding boot camps are the way to go if you have the if you have the ability and you've already put in some work. Yeah, that's what I I would do if I could go to Dev Mountain. Hey Dev Mountain, you know, hook me up with a three month thing so I can go on sabbatical and just skill up. Holla at your boy. I'll do a whole YouTube series on it. <laughs> uh, I'm not Matt Tran, but one can dream. Um, Shadi says, and you have web apps I can do. Oh, we already talked about that. Zishan says, any resources to learn Flexbox? Yes. Yes. I haven't done any CSS grid because can I use shows that we do not have a lot of support for it, but Flexbox does. Of course, everyone knows probably by now if, you, if you're if uh, you a regular live streamer, uh, live streamer watcher. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you're right. I am too loose today. I got I to gotta button it up. Uh, let's see here. Let me go ahead and pull this up. This is Flexbox Froggy. It's the easiest way to understand what's going on here. You can learn stuff like this. Of course, you are always going to want to uh, learn it, learn how to uh, uh, use your developer tools. So you can see we have all these different things that it can do. So, uh, space around. Space around is what we're looking for. Ta-da! And we can move on to the next level. So there's a bunch of things like this. But beyond that, what I used right before I made this huge website that I made, it was like, it had a blog with templating and like 20 plus pages and it had, you know, uh, Google stuff and it had a, a internal like portal where we had to render stuff dynamically um, according to like user permissions. Uh, I used this guy's. Let me pull them up one moment this guys which is the complete flexbox tutorial tutorial learn css flexbox in what does it say 20 minutes that's that's a bold statement but it, it was what i used and it helped me the most because it was entirely focused on flexbox it changed my life um i had an epiphany it actually probably did change change my web developer life i don't use uh floats and margins very much anymore so Let's see here. Oh man, I'm, I'm getting behind on these questions. My apologies. Uh, Joseph says, the best way I've seen to implement algorithms is to attempt to build a native node modules with C++ that's, uh, or doing something graphics heavy. That is pretty hard co core, Joseph, but uh, I will I will leave that to you. Wes Bros is great. Yes, he's pretty good. Um, or Wes Bows. Jenna Cray says, check out Advanced Few with Jonah, that, that thing. I'll check it out. Thanks. Does competitive coding has any real world benefit? Mm, I don't know. I haven't done it. Um, makes you work hard. Makes you work under stress. So there's got to be some benefit. I mean, compared to like doing nothing. Uh, Genesis amazing co course. Westbos is good too. Safar says, Ricky, you should at least give a try on Firo code fonts. They look so beautiful. Firo, Firo, maybe. Firo code fonts. I'll have to take a look at it. Um. Uh, I'm going to put this over here. Mono spaced looks pretty. Oh, that looks pretty cool. I don't know if I can put that in a. In a huh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting distracted here. Yeah, I'll have to check that out. Shadi says I will. I use fetch. What WG for comparability? Oh. Okay. You can, but it looks like Polyfill and Webpack. You can check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Joseph Whitting says I'm talking about Stephen Greider's course on Udemy. SQL versus NoSQL, which one? SQL, dude. Like, I know NoSQL, but, like, there's more jobs, like, with SQL and PHP, or, excuse me, yeah, SQL and PHP, um, at least in my area, and so it's like, you can't get away from it, uh, unless you're, like, the best in, like, NoSQL, what, but if you're not the best, like, you know, you don't have to be the best with the SQL, is what I think. If you know some, you can use it, that's good enough, you don't have to be the best, like, right now, with uh, uh, non-relational. So far, says, sorry, it was a typo. Fire a code. My bad. No big deal. Uh, it's cool, man. I'll check it out. 
any other questions? What do you guys think? Do you guys like this live stream better? Uh, where I can chill a bit, uh, you know, be more myself. Shoddy says, yeah, I use fire road codes. They are great. Well, just, I guess I'm just not hip with it. I'm not hip with you young kids. I gotta, I gotta get hip with it. Let's see. Let's see. For visual code, visual studio code is my jam. That's all I use, man. Visual Studio Code is the best. Oh, in case you guys haven't run an update, the I think Visual Studio Code put out an update yesterday or the day before. So if you have it, get updated. I used to like hate like oh there's so much updates because uh, I didn't know how updates worked. But with Visual Studio Code, the updates are almost always awesome. Uh, there is one thing I had like an update one time and I kept on crashing my Visual Studio Code, but that's one one thing. Jenna says, "Yeah, be yourself." I'll try my best. Um, Ali says, "Is SQL only programming language and database, or are there any other?" MySQL is one. Uh, Progress what is it? You guys know how to say it. Post Postgressor or Postgres SQL. Look at that. Postgres SQL. I don't know. We'll see. After this thing, like I really, this is the thing, though, guys. Uh, with with all these things that we can learn, I really want to learn the MERN stack because that's what I started out with, and just learn those core, uh, core, like my core found, like my foundational skills, really well. That means JavaScript really, really well. Not so much, you know, React, which I do, I will be learning, but not focusing on super hard. But mostly uh, Node.js, React, but when it comes down to it, just the fundamental JavaScript skills. Those are evergreen skills. That's going to carry carry to anything. Uh, with the um, course I took with uh, John Duckett on Pluralsight I showed you guys just a while ago, what uh, it showed was that uh, John, or John Crockett, Dave Crockett, I can't even remember their names. John Duckett had the, the old book... Uh, about HTML and CSS. Anyway, Douglas Crockford is his name right here. He says, you know, once you're in there, you're stuck. You're locked into that framework. I completely agree. Uh, I am going to be locked into React, which is fine, but when React becomes not so hot or when I want to pick up something else, it's the foundational JavaScript skills that are going to matter most. And I found that even like today, uh, going through some of this stuff, I've been focusing more on JavaScript. So when something doesn't work, it's like, oh yeah, of course, because of the closure here. We gotta, you know, uh, it creates a closure there. We gotta create a that variable or something like that. Um, so, yeah, that's what I would focus on. And then database stuff. Choose a database. Get really good at it, because um, the the foundation is the same. Let's see. The auto is better when you aren't in the cafe. <laughs> yeah, right? Because I can be like right up here. But this this is like a $200 mic. That's like a $40 mic, and it's like right up to my face. So, uh, yeah, there's that. And it's also quiet. And you see these panels behind me right here? Um, they're actually noise-canceling panels. I have two up here, and I built them with my dad. Uh, so they help cancel out the reverberation and stuff. What's up, Corey? How you doing, bro? Uh, let's see. Uh, Ramsey says, you aren't a real coder if you don't use VS Code. Not my opinion. This is fact. Look it up. I agree with Ramsey. I'm sorry for everyone else who uses Atom or something inferior like that. Um, the only the only exception is if you use Vim. <laughs> All the best people use Vim. No, I, I haven't used Vim, but I, I like VS Code a lot. Uh, Zafar says, Visual Studio Code is way better than Atom for me. Atom is way too slow and sluggish. Dude, I don't know what's been going on, but, but like, Microsoft has just, they made this sweet text editor and ran with it, and they just are killing it with, like, updates all the time. Like, better updates. They have, like, this column. Like, th this is a new thing, I think. Alt-Shift. And you can do, like, oops, I can't do that because that's a, that's a keyword here. Alt-Shift, and then you can choose, like, columns like this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but... That's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, Shadi says, did you try React Native? Not yet, but it's on the agenda for the summer. As soon as I get this portfolio done, back to basic JavaScript stuff, and then React Native is on there as well. I have to learn that um, for sure. I really want to do the Udacity 
React Now degree again, pick it up because I'm I'm pretty I feel pretty good about it. I've done some back end stuff, front end stuff, really honed in on my JavaScript in general. So I've done a few big big projects. Crockford is JS God. Actually, that is reserved for Dylan Israel. No, Crocker is great. Uh, so, Zeeshan says, I'm also learning the Merns Act. I think it will be very big in the future. Maybe. Um, it's not so much about if it's big. It's just if it's worse for you right now and you can carry that skill over. Mern is all JavaScript. That's awesome because I can learn JavaScript really, really well instead of having to pick up multiple languages. Because once you pick up that language, you're going to do more advanced stuff, which you'll also do in the other languages but you'll have that foundation rather than just like a superficial knowledge, you know, just, just uh, like an inch deep. You can go farther down and take that over to different languages. Corey says, check out my portfolio. That's weird that it hid that, huh? Uh, we can check out your portfolio, Corey. Corey McAvoy. Uh, Christ Center Dev says, VS Community 2017 for me, yeah boy. Uh, Shadi says, why people like Vim? Developers always talk about it. I think it's just like it's really hard to use. So like those developers that have been around for a long time are like, you know, not everyone can use it. And I've used it and I know my stuff. And so that that's that's my opinion about Vim. Like, oh, it's the best because it's hard to use and I can use it. It's really about how you're able to use these tools, right? Um, so I think Visual Studio Code is like the truth. The best one, I used to use Sublime Text, and Sublime Text ain't got nothing on Visual Studio Code. So, yeah, Jordan Ramsey says, okay, it's, it is okay. Yes, it's okay to show Corey's link, but I didn't find a link. Uh, Corey, if you could share that link again, please uh, do. And Ramsey, of course, feel free to, to let him do that. Shadi says, I have the same plan like you about the learning curve. React Native will be the next thing for me. Yeah, I, I'm telling you guys, learn that React.js super well. And you're going to have a much better time like this. I remember when I was like in the React JS, uh, React Udacity Now degree course, I, this this hurt. This was hard, very hard. But it's just because I didn't have my foundation. Uh, no matter how much, if I found the answer, I didn't know what I was doing. Like just today, I was like, oh, I can't get this dot set state to work. Why? Well, duh, it's an enclosure here. It's, uh, it's that scope, of course. And I knew about scope, but, you know, you don't really know until you do it. So I just set a that variable up here to... Break it outside of that closure and uh, out, you know outside of the scope, and then set that that set state to YouTube list, and then it would pull in all of the let's see all of the videos. These aren't videos, but you you get what I'm trying to say here. I don't have it set up right now. Um, Bim is great if you're into keyboard shortcuts. I am all about keyboard shortcuts, but you know uh, Microsoft has some too. Uh, Visual Studio Code has some too. Uh, Shadi says, oh no, Ramsey says, gatekeepers use Vim. Yeah, that's what I think. Gatekeepers use Vim for show. Vim has God level keyboard shortcuts. That's what I've heard. But I mean, I don't know if I do I need that many shortcuts. McAvoy says, it won't let me share the link. Corey, send it to me through uh, the old Facebooker and uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and look it up if you want to do that. If you can, uh, Zafar says Vim has a very steep learning curve. I got mind whoopsie uh, after reading about its shortcuts and stuff. Yeah, I mean, is it worth it? Sometimes you gotta think about that. Is it worth the learning curve? Uh, copy and post your link, and I will approve it. Ramsey says CoreyMacaboy.com. I expect this to be beautiful, Corey. Oh, I gotta put the World Wide Web there. Them Ws. Ooh, Corey, looking much better, actually. Look at that. That ain't bad. What is this? Is this a... I can't read. A simple dating app built with React Native. I would make this a, a little more dark, dude. It's just hard to, to read here. But, uh, I mean, these are small things. Color. Let's just make it black. Well, damn. It's not wanting to do it, man. Work subtitle. There we go. <laughs> Just take off the class that you put so hard to put on there. I think it's easier to see here. How's the responsiveness? Dude, you've improved a lot since the last time you showed me one of these. Much better. You've done so much more than I have <laughs> on my portfolio. I would make these maybe a little bit bigger on hover. 
Yeah, man. Very good stuff. Uh, I did a live stream forever ago where Corey had some things, and it, it's it's night and day. After a year, you can tell that Corey's really uh, put some stuff in here. Yeah, I did this little Frogger game, too. I made this. I remember that. I can't make it work, though. Oh, you gave him silver ones, and you made him die. Yeah, when I did this, it was a long time ago. So uh, this is from the React Nano degree. Corey knew a lot more than I did. It looks like when he got th when he was doing this, that's pretty cool, man. Can I do it again? Yeah, would I do it again? No. <laughs> so uh, you do some of these projects here, and they're just hard to hard to. Uh, what am I trying to say here? Hard to go back to because they don't have any practical application, but they help you learn. Uh, one thing I would do though, Corey, is when you go to one of these, what is this on it? Is this on it from Earthbound? Yeah, you did the full you did the full front end thing, didn't you? I don't care restaurant with a refresh. Yeah, man, this is looking good. Uh, I would just make sure you put uh, target equals underscore target equals quotation marks underscore blank, so it opens up in a new window rather than take you away from your your main one. So, good job. You got even a contact form here. Very sweet. Maybe I'll be able to catch up to you here. I'm. Uh, I, I like it a lot. I am very. I'm thoroughly impressed. This is that type thing you can add a library to. Cool stuff. Round of applause. I think that's one of the best ones I've seen. Uh, so. Let's see here. Where is? Then you got my unfinished one after going to Corey's. Yeah, that makes me feel great. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where is the Facebook? Where is the... I can't figure out where I put my tabs now for uh, my live stream. Oh, man. I'm still here with you guys. I'll get to your comments in just a moment. Yo, has, any, has anyone been watching Silicon Valley? Anyone? That's my jam. Let's see here. Okay. Corey says, thank you. Uh, my pleasure. It keeps blocking. Yeah. What is gate? What is a gatekeeper? Someone who tries to hold information for the sake of holding information to feel important. To hold someone back, really. A gatekeeper is annoying is what they are. Unless it's something like medical, which I understand. Corey, what state are you in, Ramsey asked. The opacity is lowered. The image is on it. Yeah, the form does not work yet. Looking good, Corey. Thank you. Shadi says, I can't explain how making a portfolio app can change your situation as a developer. It can boost your situation like magic. So get on it. I'm trying to get on it. Uh, doggone it. Of course, real-world applications and real-world websites and stuff, that's also going to boost you up usually if they're using it for in production and it's for like a, a big corporation or medium-sized corporation small business is also good but when you get like one of those bigger ones like oh yeah that's that's gonna make you look like a professional developer because you are i heard target.blake had some security issues i've never heard that until now which might be true uh, much better than before yeah nice work Corey ramsey says uh, i get interview calls after i launched my portfolio heck yeah shoddy Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, if you don't have anything, like no. <laughs> yeah, that's you have to have a portfolio or you have to have projects or something like that. I had a portfolio too. I had two portfolio pages before this. They just were okay. This one's much better. I mean, it doesn't look like it because it's not finished. And I haven't put in the right pictures, but um, you know, it'll have the 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 links and stuff to go to where they need to and it has my YouTube videos and so should definitely help out there. It's more like just trying to learn how to go from jQuery to React for some of these things. It's not like super huge and important because I do mostly website stuff, but I need to learn how to style these things, how to use them, use my own node backend for, for one-off projects like landing form pages and stuff. I don't want to use WooFoo forms. That's terrible. Make my own and make it better for the, uh, make it better for the user. Uh, let's see. Shadi says, I get an interview after it is launched. Session me. I don't know what that means. Oh, and then, oh, I'm just rereading comments. Woo! I need some coffee here. Heck yeah, Adrian. Thanks for approving my post in the Facebook. The old Facebook. 
So, Joseph. Oh no. What about you guys? Tell me what else everyone is up to. Let me know what you what you got going on. Uh, what you want to see from the channel, all that stuff. What you want to see from the channel, like I've been posting up. No, man, I, I got, uh, I wouldn't say burned out, but I went really, really hard for about three years straight. Of course, I went through ups and downs, but then I hit like a, a goal I needed to hit, and then I kind of like took a break and focused more on family stuff for a while. Now I'm back. I'm going to come pretty hard this summer. I'm already back into the portfolio stuff here, but uh, definitely ready to come back and do a whole bunch of videos, do some not so much programmer videos, but this React portfolio has got to get done, not just for the channel, but for me. Uh, and then also, um, you know, do some other ones, just like those soft skills or like burnout or working in what's quote unquote seasons like John Sonmez has talked about. So, so yeah. Um, Shadi says, I have a problem. Robots called bot spam my form with empty messages. I'm working so hard to prevent them. They can fill your form when submitted. Check out that Stack Overflow, man. See if you can't get something uh, fixed with that. Ricky pay $10 for a 20-minute course. Face goes like blank, blank, blank. I don't think it says 20. It says 20 minutes, but it's not a 20-minute course. That's for sure. You can learn Flexbox in 20 minutes, but the course is not 20 minutes. So y'all can, you can uh, take that back. The course is actually two hours. So maybe this doesn't... Maybe it says 20 minutes, but the course itself is two hours. And I would not pay $10 for a 20-minute course. Ricky, can you do an interview with Steven Greider? I hope. I mean, I would like to. Maybe I should reach out to him, but Steven Greider's a big guy. He's a, he's a hot shot, but, you know, it couldn't hurt to reach out to him. But I'll tell you what. Um, let's do rally coding. This is what's going to actually help out a lot more rather than me just reaching out directly. If someone from this group says, hey, you know, we asked Ricky to do a interview for you. You know, he's our favorite YouTuber. <laughs> okay, maybe not that far, but but uh, we like, you know, uh, he's great. Whatever, you know, you talk me up or something. When it comes from you guys or, or from one of you, then... It gives me a lot more credibility rather than just me like, hey, I'm hustling. I want to I want you on the channel. But, uh, you know, if you say like he, he talks about you all the time or or he always talks about your courses or he uses your courses. He's another YouTuber. Uh, we'd love to see you two get together or something. Uh, I know that Ricky would be really willing to set up an interview. He's done some in the past. You can show me maybe like an interview or something. Then hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'll be up for that. Um, so if, if you set something up like that, uh, that is going to work a lot better. Um, and you will get that interview. <laughs> uh, so um, if that's what something you want, that's how I would go about doing it. Because I think I've tried to reach out to him before. Maybe not. But uh, I didn't get a response. Joseph says, I think that course is free. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it was free. It was not free for me when I bought it. This is bull. I should try to get an interview with Steven Greider, though. That's true. Heck yet, Corey. Put in, put in work, hustling for me. I would love to get Steven Greider on this. I need to log into my own Twitter. Twitter. I haven't done this for so long. I don't even know my own uh, password here. Do you have a Twitter? I have them Twitters. Um, I don't know what it is. Hold on. I have it here. I just don't... I haven't logged in on my computer forever. I just logged in on my phone and... There we go. It's somewhere in my pro profile. I'll find it here. I think it's richardgarcia.abl. As you can see, I don't use my... Uh, I'm not hip with them Twitters. Okay, let's see here. It's Richard Garcia. ABL. I'll show you how horrible I am. Like here it is, right here. I'll just put it right on the old camera. Oh, and it's like inverted too. Richard Garcia ABL. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. So yes, I do have them tweeters. I should be more active with it, but you know, just trying to. I'm just trying to live here, man. Joseph says, I know what my password is. How can I change it? 
I, I, I'll just do the forgot password. It's about time, right? What's my Twitter tag? Here, I'm going to put it in here, Corey. I'm going to put it in the messages. It's, it's Richard, I think. One second here, Corey. If I can find it. It's at Richard Garcia ABL. Richard Garcia ABL. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, and then Corey followed me, so I think he got it. There you go. Oh, I should tell you about a book you guys should all be reading if you're trying to break into the uh, developer stuff, especially if you're self-taught. Uh, Crushing It by Gary Gaynerchuk is really good. And now I know a lot of, well, a few of you might be like, hey, I don't like Gary or whatever. This book is actually pretty good. It's not all about him. I got the audio version, and it's pretty good because he's not like all like swears and like pent up energy. It's he's chill. He's chill. Uh, I got on audible.com. So something you should check out. It helps you learn about that personal branding and stuff. Whew. Any other questions so far? We've been down here for 45 minutes. I got about 15 minutes. I got to get back to coding up this portfolio so I can shoot a video today. I got, what do I got left here? Oh, I got to do work history, things I built. But those are, those already used components I've already made. So it's really easy. I just have to put the pre-made components in there and then I got to make the form. And that is it. And then I can shoot the video. And uh, yeah, look, look, it looks like Corey, Corey been doing some hustling for me. Let's see here. Joseph Whittington follow me. Oh yeah, look at that. Everybody's following me on that Twitters. You can see I'm real hip with it. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, for sure. Follow me on them Twitters and on, on them Instagrams. Audible is awesome. Christ Center Dev says I have like 15 books. Yo, I'm a fan of Audible. I have 50 books on there, but I acquired those over time, like the last three or four years. Uh, I have an audiobook. I have the audiobook is pretty good. Yeah, it is pretty good. It's not so in your face, you know. It's chill so definitely check that out what what questions you guys have for me uh channel questions about the channel questions about coding let me know hit me up in them comments so we can keep this this good old uh live stream train a rolling what the heck that's not the right screen just a moment here there we go y'all how many people are looking for interviews how many people are looking to uh, how many people are looking to actually get into the developer stuff or just do it for passion or just do it for hobbies let me know hit me up what advice do you have for a first-time job seeker, Joseph says? Very smart question here. Uh, first-time job seeker. Well, you're going to have to have some projects, right? Let me get the right camera. Oh, sorry about that. It's here somewhere. <laughs> I know one of these buttons turns me turns on the camera full screen. There we go. Um, the biggest thing is you're going to have to have some projects, right? So, something in there. Uh, a portfolio is great. Uh, a lot of people, it really depends on where you're at also. For me, I had to have like complete projects or completely done things. Not just like, oh, I made this little portfolio. I had to do it for businesses because in this area, there's no one really that does this type of work. So you have to be able to be the, the overall package. But that was just for me. Uh, but I did a lot of stuff, uh, some photography, some social media. That got me the job into the social media manager with website, with WordPress design. Uh, so I had to have real projects made. Um, document your document your journey too. It's not all about like being the best or doing a ton of stuff. But if you're able to document your your journey, um, you're going to have a lot more uh, ex uh, credibility to yourself. So I just went into LinkedIn here and uh, I've documented a lot of things I've done. But you can see I've made articles. So when I first started out, I didn't do videos. I did articles. So I talk about YouTube or how to become a developer. These were just to push out my videos. And then, uh, but before that even, 
let's see these were all videos videos I, I talked about different different things that I did like uh, and that gave me a ton of credibility and even the job that I'm at right now looked at my blogs and, and uh, checked them out so or my articles that I wrote so so definitely something I would check out if I were you uh, or look into just documenting your journey that gives you credibility so they can see where you were and where where you're at now um let's see here something about Fortnite. do i play fort you mean fork knife yeah I, I play fork knife every day every night at dinner time fork knife of course who doesn't play fork knife shoddy uh, i will be soon smart man smart man there uh cory let's see found it what advice do you have for beginners joseph let me know if that answers your question janice creates says me i oh you play fork knife that's good to know I, I hope I don't like lose all all my viewers just by calling it fork knife. Um, I don't have a lot of time to do that. I am always making sure to get homework done or dinner on the table or clean up and then finally code. Uh, so I try to stay away from the the online games because they will take up a lot of time. I mean, even on what Friday, my son had a uh, like a play and it was three hours, so we got home at nine. But then like we had to watch the the new Karate Kid series on YouTube Red, Cobra Kai. And so we got YouTube Red, and we watched all of them. Like, we didn't go to bed until, like, 3.30. And so so that's the type of personality I have. So I can't play those games uh, because they, I'll, I'll get too addicted to them. Uh, Chris and Dev says, Ricky, check out Marco Close Frontline's book series. Huh. Okay. Uh, for a career, Ramsey says. For a career. Can you give me some more... Can you give me some more... Uh, backstory on that jenna says no lol 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 ricky dad joke go home ricky you're drunk <laughs> you're talking about that fork knife hey i'll tell you what i play them i play them internets i know i know them internets pretty good y'all ever played that farm bales on the googles uh i don't mean to brag but i used to have the highest score uh Je joseph says youtube red is amazing i haven't seen youtube too bad in years I don't, yeah, I don't know if it's worth it for me to like buy it. I kind of like the ads, uh, just because kind of supports the viewers. But sometimes, like, I'm watching something like Grandpa's Kitchen, if you haven't seen that, or Grandpa Kitchen on YouTube, and it has like a million ads. I'm like, man, YouTube Red would be for good on this. So, yeah, um, the Karate Kid or the Cobra Kai is freaking sweet. I don't care if you guys don't like it because you're wrong. If you haven't watched Cobra Kai, watch it now. You can get the first two episodes for free on YouTube Red. No, they're not paying me for this. I wish they were. But it's uh, it's pretty good. Any other questions? Any other questions for me? Uh, let me know. How did you like this live stream? I know we talked about it earlier, but being a little bit more relaxed, uh, not having to talk about straight up code or, or be a little bit uptight because we're, uh, you know, we're here in the neighborhood. I apologize if you hear bloody murder across the street. Those are kids just playing, I hope, I think. So, uh, yeah. Corey says, I'm tired of seeing all the Cobra Kai ads. Bro, you just got to watch it then. You just got to watch it. Then you'll know. Cobra Kai. Strike hard, strike fast, no mercy. That's what they're doing to you with them ads, man. No mercy. <laughs> they're going to spam you with ads until you actually watch it. So, yeah, they are everywhere on YouTube, but it's an extremely successful, like, series. It's really well. It's not like a web series. It's like a legit, like, series. Like, something that you expect from, like, movies. It's like, and it's not like C-level budget. It's like B-level budget. So, is it like Game of Thrones? No, but it's really high quality. And Joseph says, have you read any good books recently? Um, read... I don't know if it was re no. That's not really recently. Let me let me go through my audiobooks here. Uh, Crushing it with Gary V, but that was an audiobook. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the Complete Software Developer's Guide. But I read that a long time ago. Um, right now I'm reading Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Let's see this library. See what I just listened to. No drama, discipline. Not really books, but I will give you a few here to look at. Um. Clean Code is a really good book, but it's done in Java, I believe. But still, the the um, the principles there are great. Buy it used, buy it on Kindle. 
it's worth it, but I think you can get it free too, but check it out. I don't know what's going on back out there, but it's someone screaming bloody murder. Uh, let's see. Corey says, I hate how they made Daniel look like a prick in Cobra Kai because he is. Dude, he stole Johnny's girl and he sucker punched him. He's a prick. Don't worry, just watch the, watch the show and you'll get a better you'll get a better understanding of uh, how things really are. Joseph says, have you read any good books? Oh yeah, we just did that. <laughs> Clean Code. Clean Code is probably one of the best ones uh, to read. It changed how I do code and then Code Complete. But Clean Code is probably the, the one that I would go for, I think. Or maybe it was Code Complete. I don't know. Steve McConnell. I'm pretty sure it was Clean Code. Uh, Corey said, I'd rather watch Treehouse or Udemy ads rather than Cobra Kai. Hey, you know, Corey, I think you would make a great website. You should try this. You should try this online course. It's written by it. <laughs> I can't stand them, man. I can't stand those ads anymore. Uh, Janice says, the worst is those Wix ads. Hi. This is Wix code. Or what was it? The other one with the comedian. Yeah. The funny thing is, is like we all see those ads because they target it towards us. So we're gonna see like more ads than anyone else is, uh, with with that stuff. So, yeah, I feel your pain, guys. Uh, with the nerdy guy says he can't see without guy who says he can't see without his glasses. Yeah, yeah. I really do not like the nerd stigma that comes with development. Like, since when has having a successful career been nerdy i mean maybe when you're like in your teenage years but it's just kind of eh, you know <laughs> i'm not about that Corey says yeah those are really annoying so yeah well he does a bunch of stuff that guy is actually really accomplished it seems like he knows the the udemy guy knows no js he knows about react he knows about angular he knows about uh, like SAS, uh, PHP, graphic design. <laughs> I mean, that guy has has tons of ads. Uh, the Wix ads with Kevin Hart were just as bad. I have not seen any Wix ads with Kevin Hart. I am not a fan of Kevin Hart. So, uh, good to know. Good to know I don't have to watch those. Uh, very happy. Uh, Carly Kloss had a Wix ad, and it was terrible. Let me fix this here. Whoop. Sorry about that, guys. Carly Kloss had a Wix ad, and it was terrible. Joseph says, this is a strange product to me. It's made by some of the world's top security guys, but it's a terrible product. I'm a proud nerd. Yeah, it depends. Terrible is uh, subjective. I I haven't used it enough. I used Squarespace, and I thought it was a terrible product, but it's not. It's actually pretty good. And uh, I've also used WordPress, and I thought it was a terrible product, and it's not. It's just okay. <laughs> so, Jenna says she's a proud nerd. Uh, the Udemy guy is an actor, I'm sure. No, Corey. I'm pretty sure he knows everything. Even UX. Uh, there's, you can't fake it. <laughs> so, um, Jenna says, yeah. Well, I get those too, for sure. I like the, I like the lady that tells me about project, project management on Udemy, though. She seems nice. Probably because I don't see her all the time. <laughs> so, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I should do project management. You're right. It is easy. Digital marketing? Yeah, I should do that. And you're right. It is easy. Uh, Shadi says, yeah, I I have nerd nickname for me in my area, lol. My friends are a-holes. Yeah, I get that sometimes, too, that I'm a nerd or that I'm quote-unquote smart, which is not true. You know, you just do these things a lot, and you invest your time differently than other people. Uh, and I'm sure they're better at, like, fixing cars, like freaking nerds fixing cards, cars. Yeah. How does he know all those subjects? Well, you know, he's just he's just a baller. I know a lot about those subjects, but i got to say that yeah udemy has ads oh yeah man oh yeah udemy has lots of ads so um it's just what they got to do and it does work it's it worked on me a few times so so yeah it definitely does that udemy has tons of ads Corey says they are a great place to to get some good stuff though um when i have to go really in depth that's the place i go all right well christ Center just says have you started your piano lessons yet you should take <laughs> you should take this course uh, no, I haven't. It's not for me. It's <laughs> I can't even remember why I got the piano lessons. I don't think I got it for me. I got it for my dad. Uh, uh, yeah, on this wish list, this piano lesson here, that was for my dad, and I actually got it and got him an account so he could have one. So to take this off the wish list. Yeah, those dumb piano. I I've gotten the piano girl too though. It's just because I looked up that stupid piano lesson. 
they are pretty good with their with their tracking. I'll say that. Python is where it's at. Lol, I see that you to be at all the time. <laughs> Python's where it's at. You know, you should take this. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. So, for show. These kids outside, I tell you. I don't know if they're like like playing Hunger Games out there or what, but it's always like super violent. This piano class. Let's see. I have you on the wrong screen. Yeah, I had my piano class up here, but I took it off because I don't need it. I'm all about that code. And uh, video production. I haven't done a lot of videos in a long time, and that's okay. But, you know, it's hard to context switch all the time. You lose a lot of focus. Corey says, Python is where it's at. You can do almost anything with it. You know, you should take this Python course through Udemy. Heck yeah. You know what? Udemy, you should hire us to do your ads. Just a thought. Those kids over there are having a fight club. You're telling me, if, you're telling me, Joseph, I don't know what's going on, but someone's over there having a, a good old time. So, Well, guys and gals, I think it's time to uh, time to wrap this up. It's been an hour. If you did like this content, of course, give me some of these, some of these likes. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Uh, I do put out produced content <laughs> every once in a while. I'm going to wrap up uh, the with the front end here. I'm going to wrap up uh, the styling and stuff, the components. And um, then I'll shoot a video today because I'm almost done. Well, let me know. Let me know if you guys have any last-minute questions. I'm here for about four or five minutes uh, to uh, definitely answer these. Gets email sponsorship from you. Hey, I've got a sponsorship before. I can do it. I'm moving up in the world. I got 3,000 subscribers. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm famous. Um, not quite yet, but, you know, we'll, we'll keep on trucking along. This this I feel like this channel is a little channel that could. So, uh, yeah, 3,157 subscribers. We're just moving right along here. All right, so last chance for questions. I am here to take a few more questions. Get them out while you can. Otherwise, we'll have to meet up next week. By the way, 10 watching, pretty good. I, I, I like it. We had a lot of uh, we had a lot of people here. 10, 11 people is a lot for my channel. Good to see you. Good to see you, Rick. Bye. See you, Shoddy. Oh, oh, oh. Let's get that Facebook off there. I, <laughs> uh, good to see you, everybody. Um, thanks for coming. It's time to get get the hustle on and I will talk to y'all later. If you have a question and you're watching this at a later time, you can always leave a comment in the comment section and I'll try to get back to it as soon as possible and uh, talk to you guys later then. See ya. Have a good Sunday. Bye.